Many travelers associate the charming Italian city of Verona with the romantic love story of Romeo and Juliet. This play by Shakespeare has lured many visitors to Verona. Verona still feels like what Shakespeare wrote, and it's possible to recall the main moments of the timeless love story strolling around the streets of this city. The city is full of sights associated with Romeo and Juliet, including the famous balcony where Romeo is said to have declared his love to Juliet. The city is famous not only for its priceless historical and architectural moments, but also for a rich cultural life. There are joyful festivals and exhibitions all year round. So now let's have a look around in Verona and see Juliet's house. Verona is a city on the Adige River in Veneto region. Verona became a Roman settlement and held an important position in northern Italy as it was located at the intersection of two important roads. Piazza della Erbe or the Market Square was once the town's forum during the time of the Roman Empire. The square's most ancient monument is the fountain built by Cancinorio della Scala, surmounted by a statue called Madonna Verona, a Roman sculpture dating back to 380 AD. As the story goes, this was the home of the Capulet family, Juliet's family. Located on Via Capello, the Juliet's house or Casa di Giulietta is one of the main attractions of Verona with the most famous balcony in the world. It is a tiny balcony where Juliet stood while Romeo declared his love. It is also the balcony where Romeo and Juliet planned the events that led to their tragic deaths. Romeo and Juliet's life were overshadowed by terrible fate. From the opening prologue, it says that they will die. Romeo and Juliet are trapped by fate. However, it's Romeo and Juliet's fiery passions of their love which makes their love eternal. In the individual rooms and halls, we can find numerous exhibits from the time of Romeo and Juliet, which gave a good impression of life in ancient Verona.
In the center of the internal court stands a bronze statue of the beautiful and faithful Juliet by Nerio Constantini. According to legend, touching Juliet's right breast will bring good luck in love. Along the entrance to the courtyard, we see thousands of writings which cover the walls. According to popular belief, all who write down their love to their partner will cast a lucky spell and their love will be eternal. With a kiss I die, parting is such sweet sorrow, be in love with night. This is Palazzo Maffei, with its rich decoration is one of the few examples of pure Baroque architecture in Verona. As if recalling the presence of the Roman temple that was built here in Roman age, on top of Palazzo Maffei were placed statues of Roman gods. In the cellar of the Maffei restaurant on the ground floor, it's possible to visit the remains of the Roman temple. <laughs> 